Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day I bet to all. So today I would like to do my presentation for Seismic Data Processing QCB 4213 for the technical review presentation. So the title that I have chosen is a 3D interpolation and before I start my presentation I would like to introduce myself. So my name is Nur Al Minajuddin bin Khairul Anwar and currently I'm in my final year second semester. So for today presentation there will be few main things that I'll be talking about. The first one is the introduction to 3D interpolation followed by the objective, the literature review, the projection onto convex set POCS, the structurally conformable interpolation SCI which this two is the technique that we will be using for 3D interpolation and followed by the conclusion and recommendation and finally the reference. So for the introduction, from the 1960s uh, till present, there is abundance of 2D seismic data and due to the complexity of the area, 2D seismic data may occasionally be missing few data and in order for us to construct a meaningful interpretation from 2D data, uh, 3D interpolation uh, will be used. Which, uh, but then the main issue is when we want to identify how to interpolate a large gap in 2D data into a dense uh, 3D seismic model. And the structurally conformable 2D to 3D interpolation is a technique for maximizing the potential of existing 2D data while lowering the cost acquiring the new 3D data. So the objective of uh, our study is first uh, to understand the 3D interpolation, second to understand different methods associated with 3D interpolation or different techniques. Third, uh, to produce a better interpretation of the subsurface image from 2D seismic and finally to maximize the usage of the 2D seismic survey. Now we will proceed with the literature review. As mentioned before, there are abundance of 2D seismic data from the year 1960 or 70s to the current day from Kim et al. And nowadays, the 3D seismic survey is currently on demand due to the better seismic image compared to the 2D seismic data and to make use of 2D data to create a reliable 3D interpretation it is not that simple because of different timing amplitude frequency and the offline of in the 3D effect and to overcome this problem an enhanced methodology has been implemented which is 3D interpolation where it used 2D seismic line to build a 3D migration volume. And the few key challenge when performing 3D interpolation, which are the available 2D seismic line, are uh, extremely coarse, which is two to three kilometer gap. And, and it is limited by the line separation. So the first technique that we will talk about is the projection onto convex set or POCS. So basically, a POCS is an approach based on Fourier transform which allow the interpolation of sparsely populated seismic grid using this a simple iterative procedure that produce high quality result. And the original 2D seismic restoration method, uh, the George Bird Sutton, is easily extended to a higher dimension and the 3D version of the approach used here provide far better interpolation than the conventional 2D method. So uh, for POCS technique method, uh, we will input the data and for each iteration start with a 2D Fourier transformation of the seismic data. And then we will apply a threshold to the transform data and then uh, we will inverse uh, and removing all the highest amplitude and lastly we will reinstate the original data value that do not have uh, to be interpolated so here is the example of uh, the result using the pocs method so uh, 
here we can see is the complete seismic data and the B is the irregular data with 50% trace missing and C is uh, the data from the from this data that has been interpolated using the covalent base and shielded base POCS method. So as you can see here, uh, compared between the one that has been interpolated, the image is much clearer and it is better for us to see any structure that might be in the seismic section. And then uh, the second technique that we will talking about is the structurally conformable interpolation or SCI. So uh, this uh, structurally conformable interpolation engine create 3D geological horizon from 2D deep field and layer model, which enabling for the bridging of kilometer long distance that otherwise would be unachievable with conventional interpolation technique. <clears throat> So SCI in general is less expensive compared to the 3D acquisition and it can be applied on 2D data set that already exists. Uh, like I have mentioned before, the 2D data is abundant but uh, by using 3D interpolation, we can have a better image for the data. So in terms of frequency content, amplitude, phase and time, the SCI method can match this data set that allowing different survey to be read as one uh, and this data set may have wide range of characteristic or vintage. So there have been two case study related to SCI or structurally conformable interpolation. The first case study is uh, has been made in offshore northeast Greenland which uh, this area is an area consisting of complex terminating and conformities and which is inaccessible to 3D streamer, which has been mapped in 3D by using SCI. And the second case study related uh, using the same technique, which is SCI, is in offshore mid-Norway, where a vast library of vintage 2D and 3D datasets has, have been utilized to create one continuous 3D volume, again with the SCI technique and by this uh, we can see that this case study indicate how accessible and reliable SCI technology is. So here is the SCI technique method. So first of all SCI process it can be broken into three basic stage which are merging, modeling and interpolate. So basically all the data will be merged and then uh, during the merging uh, process it will be demigrate and there will be a match process. Uh, the match will including the phase, the time, the amplitude and the frequency. For the model, a 2D and 3D structure model will be built and finally we will structurally conformable interpolation and 3D migration and we will get the result which is the 3D uh, data. So uh, as we can see here, here is the 2D data and here is the one after we done the 3D interpolation. And there's no uh, detailed thing that we can see here, but uh, once we did the 3D interpolation, uh, we can see much clearer and we can interpret the section as we can see much better image. Okay, so here is also the example for the 2D seismic data and after using the 3D interpolation. So here is the 2D data before the interpolation process and then this one in, at the bottom part is the uh, image for 3D interpolation as well as at the right part this one is the comparison of the time slice before and after we did the 3D interpolation so this one is in 2D data while the top one is the 3D interpolated and the migrated data now we, uh, we come to the conclusion and the recommendation so 
the approach of structurally conformable 2D to 3D as interpolation maximize the potential of existing 2D data while lowering the cost of acquiring new 3D data. And the process can match and merge disparate 2D data set and it allows 2D events to be more accurately positioned by 3D migration. It also speed up and enhance the interpretation uh, while, it's, while it is also highly cost effective when you want to compare to the 3D conventional data. Uh, it also can be used as a planning tool for new 3D acquisition and be applied in area which is inaccessible to 3D streaming. While it can also be used as a planning tool for new 3D acquisition, just like I mentioned before. Finally, uh, all seismic data set, in my opinion, can be reused by performing interpolation and a better 3D acquisition may be made when we are using the 3D interpolation that can help because newer seismic data set are not required. And in my opinion as well, there will be more 3D interpolation technique that will be developed in the future for the further increase of the data potential. So here is the reference for my study there are a few papers that I'm referring to. The first one is the 3D interpolation of irregular data with a POCS algorithm. Next is the an, a case study of enhanced 3D interpolation combined with 3D structure modeling from 2D seismic data. And the last one is a, a journal or article of the development and applicability of structurally conformable 2D to 3D interpolation. I think that's all for my technical review presentation. And then I thank you for uh, your time. Listen to my presentation. Thank you.